Hi, I'm Sean McVeigh with Sean's Outdoor Adventures, and I want to welcome you to this episode of The Spirituality of Hunting. In this particular episode, I was scouting an area over a mile from the parking area in the woods, this place, a public land in New York. Now, the spot that I really wanted to hunt, there wasn't anywhere I could get a good tree stand in. And you're not allowed to cut shooting lanes on public land. So I was really flustered, what should I do? So I was walking back out this old, like tight deer trail toward the, the main hiking trail. And I was praying like, Lord, you know, what should I do? Should I try to get a stand location back there or should I just look for somewhere else? And right at that moment, this giant branch fell out of the tree onto the ground like 20 yards in front of me and scared me, the, <laughs> scared me the daylights out of me. I'm like, ah, you know, and then I stopped and I looked around. I was like, you know what? If I wanted to, I could put a stand in this tree and there's some good deer trails crossing through right here. So I went ahead and set up a trail camera there. And I was getting lots of black bear pictures, lots of doe pictures, especially this group of doe where there's a really old, probably about a four and a half year old doe, about a year and a half to two and a half year old doe, and then a six month old. And they were in that area quite a bit. So I decided, you know what? I'm gonna try, I'm gonna, you know, the branch, hitting the ground made me think of the idea of branching out and trying something different. So I was like, I'm gonna branch out and try hunting here and see what happens. Well, at 7.30, I had this group of deer coming toward me. And in this scenario, you're gonna to get to see a little, something a little special that I have never really portrayed before and that I have a video camera set up that you can actually see me at work. You can see all of my movements and what I'm doing during the hunt. Since this one steps up and turns broadside, I think, you know what, I should just get the shot while I have good footage here. So I draw back, as you can see, but then I was like, you know, it looks like a year and a half old doe, but I'm just, I'm concerned. I don't want it to be a button buck. So I'm really like looking and looking and I can't see the head real clearly in some spots. So I just decide to ease down and let the deer pass. Well, that deer walks up right underneath me and I made a mistake. I looked over the edge of the stand to see if the deer was smelling where I walked or smelling the tree, just to try to gauge how nervous it might be. But in moving my head, the big old doe that was behind the other two, the first two, spots my head moving and she gets alarmed. And so at this point, I think, okay, now I definitely have to shoot because you know, she's on to me. And that's kind of like my, my rule. If I have a, a doe tag and, you know, a doe spots me, then I try to take her out so that she doesn't, you know, ruin that area by picking me out every time she comes in. So now I just have to play cat and mouse. I just have to wait until she gives, she turns her head and gives me a chance to draw my bow.
First of all, I want to thank God, especially for the gift of this deer. And those three deer came in, you know, about 7, 740 in the morning. Let me just say this. The state of New York is doing, in my opinion, an excellent job of managing their forest. There's lots of undergrowth here. That, I mean, they, do a, they did a select cut years ago, and you have great forest regeneration happening. This is what you want to see. This is great habitat for the deer, great food during the winter. You got to look at your forest as your crop field. They need browse to feed on throughout the year, but in the winter time, they need like the little twigs to nibble off the end of the brow, you know, the, the brush that's growing up. If you don't have that undergrowth, you're not going to have a good food source to sustain the deer population throughout the whole year. So there's lots of oaks dropping nuts, there's lots of forest regeneration, and it's so thick in here that you can't shoot unless you're on one of these little old logging roads if you can find one. And so this tree that I'm in, I, I couldn't even get as high as I wanted to because of the branches in the tree. And um, you, can't, you can't cut any tree limbs or any shooting lanes. On the, this is all public land, so um, you gotta work with what you can. And that's where my relationship with God comes into play. Like, I look at the situation, I wanna play by the rules, and I just say, Lord, you know, I can't get in the exact spot I want to. And I feel like you're asking me to sit here or you're directing me here. I'm just going to have to trust that things are going to work out and, um, you know, and then take it from there. And so I believe that I harvested the right deer. I mean, um, I, I decided I was going to take a shot when she when I wasn't looking, I'd draw. The only problem I had was there was one small limb covering her heart, her, you know, right behind the shoulder where you want to aim. So I had to aim just a touch high, a little bit, to make sure I got over that branch. And she must have squatted a little bit, which is why I caught the spine on that first shot. And then I scrambled to get a second arrow out, and um, the broadhead was a little loose, so I had to tighten it up. And, you know, so by the time I got that arrow on, and um, I had to wait till she gave me a good angle to get a very vital shot, which I hit her right in the heart. So I thank God for the whole hunt. I thank you for joining me on this hunt. And I look forward to coming back to this exact tree. I was actually thinking, man, opening day last year in New York, I shot a really nice big doe. And this is a big doe. When I went down to, to drag her out of the way and just get back up in the tree to sit for a little bit, I, I was like, oh my goodness, she's heavy. She's big, she's a big deer. So I'm gonna have a hard time dragging her out. I got like a mile and a half to drag her up and down hills, which is gonna be a beast. So when you're out there scouting and things like that, I encourage you to keep God in your mind, you know, pray and listen. And if anything out of the ordinary happens, like that kind of was, you know, maybe test it out, give it a try, see what happens. Maybe it was a way for God to answer your prayer, maybe not. But if it was, you can hopefully grow in your ability to hear how he answers. And if it wasn't, again, you should be able to grow because you'll know to dismiss that the next time you you think you're getting an answer, but you're like, no, that one doesn't work. I know that, so I'm going to keep listening for something else. And so, yeah, hunting, it's a great opportunity to grow in your prayer life. And for me, it also resulted in a successful hunt. So until next time, take care and God bless.